Today's tips are on my Tirana's rear drum brakes. Next time you go for a drive in a cruise in your car, that's if those who've got uh, rear drum brakes, after you've gone for a little bit of a spin, when you get out of the car, as soon as you get out of the car, come and feel your back of your drums here on the drum brakes. Now, they should be only like lukewarm. If you can't hold your hand there, and if they're really hot, that means you need to adjust them. So, like I said, go for a drive, hop out of the car straight away, and just put your hand on it. If you can't leave your hand there, and they're too hot, they definitely need adjusting. So what we'll do, we'll get under the car and I'll show you how to adjust them. I use, I've made up this little tool here. I just bent it at about a 45. But you can also use a flat, um, flat nose screwdriver. So let's get under the car and have a look. Just before we get under the car, another tip, I like to use a flat bit of cardboard just to climb under the car. We've better than just laying on the concrete. So I just save a bit of cardboard if you buy, well this is a TV we bought, so I just save that bit of cardboard. So it makes it a lot easier just to slide under. And you don't yeah, get as dirty and cold on your back either, just laying on concrete. Okay, so now we're under the car. Now, this is where you want to adjust it there. You can. There's usually a rubber little protector that you can take off. That's where you take it off from. And you can see there, it's got the little teeth, little cogs there. So with this tool, you put that in there. And to loosen these off, you go down. Okay, so downwards is loosening off. Now if you need to tighten it up, you go upwards. So it's down towards the ground to loosen. So you only want to do, oh no, you only want to do one to two turns down and then just leave it at that. Then yeah, after a while, go for another drive again. Again, get out, put your hand on the drum and if you can't leave your hand, if you have to take your hand away, you can't leave it there. It means you need to adjust it a bit more. So just go down a couple more until it's warm. Just, just lukewarm. You can, should be able to leave your hand on it easily. So I hope that helps in keeping your car in tip top shape. Also, while you're under your car, you might as well bring down some spanners with you couple of rings and it's good to go over any nuts that's on the sway bar back here just go over and make sure they're all nice and tight because things do make their way loose mate um, prevention is definitely better than the cure as they say and if your car's on flat ground if you haven't checked your diff oil for a while just open up uh, you're not here so the oil sh should be put your finger in there and you should be able to just feel the oil just right there or it can just start spilling out that's just how you know it's on a good level if you haven't already got a good torch one of these torches are brilliant too this is like a magnet you can turn it on different angles um, you can just it's got a few light settings on the front front one it's like a little spotlight and there's a couple of light scenes there it's got magnets so you just hang them up another magnet there absolutely great so get yourself some of them while we're on the subject of brakes if you haven't changed your fluid for a while in the master cylinder might be a good idea to give that a clean what you'll need for that i find it easy obviously you take the lid off first i find a syringe that way 
you can just suck out all the old oil. Have another little dish here where you can squirt it in. Um, it's a good idea too to, if you're gonna do all that, just put a heap of rag around like this, just in case any little bit of spillage. So after you get all that clean, then get another clean rag and just get it all nice and clean. If it is a bit dirty, you can just use a little bit of metho and get it all nice and clean. And then you wanna to top that back up with your brake fluid and top it up just uh, about three quarters full. And you can leave the, the cap off while you do all this. And then what you need is one of these. These are great to have. It's a, a, just a little brake bleeding kit. So I'll show you where you connect that on. And when you're gonna bleed your brakes, it's not ideal to have two people. One in the car who's gonna pump the brakes for you and the other person underneath the car. Um, controlling this little gadget. Now, when you do bleed, bleed your brakes, you start from the furthest point away from the master cylinder. So in this case, the furthest point away is the passenger rear. So that's where you would start. You bleed that one, and then you go over to the driver's side rear. Then you would come over to the passenger side front. Then last of all, you do your driver's side front. So you work your way from the furthest to the closest, which gets all the line clean and in that, in that regard. So let's go around the back and I'll show you where to put this little gadget on. So there's your brake nipple there where the screwdriver is, right there. So with that brake fluid kit I showed you, I'm just under the car, this is so much easier. You take your tire off, it's just so much easier. But anyway, I'm just doing a quick show you under the car. So you put the end of that hose on the nipple there. And once you've done that, my um, spanner is that size there, it's, it's a 3.8. So you put it on there. So with your mate in the car, you make sure all this is tight for a minute. You don't don't um, loosen it off yet. So you tell him to pump the brakes up and hold his foot down really tight. And then you open that up, then the flu will come out, then tighten it back up. Then you tell your mate, okay, now start pumping the brakes again. He'll pump the brakes up, it'll go tight. He holds his foot there. Again, you loosen that off. His foot will go straight down to the floor and he holds it there. Doesn't move it. And then you tighten that back up again and he pumps the brakes up again and so forth. Till you see nice clean fluid coming out and no bubbles. But just make sure you get your other buddy who's doing the brakes for you to keep topping up the oil in the master cylinder. So you, you don't want to run that dry otherwise you'll get air uh, in the brake line. So like I said earlier, you start from the furthest way, which is the passenger back, over to the driver's side back, work your way to the front, passenger front, to the driver's side front. And yeah, just keep topping up the oil and then just shut the lid, go for a drive and then just check your brake fluid um, after that. Anyway, I'll do some more tips on other things later on.